Look, we have all been there. The times in the middle of your workout where you just feel like an absolute piece of crap, thinking, dude, this workout sucks. Or the times that you don't even feel like going to the gym because you are too tired from your job or other responsibilities. It might seem like these things are just completely unavoidable, but most of the time you can easily make sure that you will feel great during your workout. And that's exactly what I want to share with you today. These small adjustments will be almost effortless, but they will make sure that you will feel incredible in each one of your workouts. The first thing that you need to do to have an amazing workout every single time is to consume some carbohydrates before your workout. This is completely non-negotiable, because carbohydrates are the fuel for your body. And obviously, we all know what's gonna happen if there is no fuel in your tank. You are simply not going anywhere. That's why having a proper pre-workout meal is so important, because you need the carbohydrates to fuel your workout. That is especially true when you are on a diet and the amount of carbs you consume per day will be lower than usual, just because your overall calorie intake is lower and most of your calories will be used on getting in an adequate amount of protein and also healthy fats. These two things will always need to be present in your diet, no matter what. Protein because you want to build muscle and healthy fats because you don't want to annihilate your hormone production. So carbohydrates will kind of always be the quote unquote filler macronutrient because you can't really remove protein or healthy fats from your diet once you get to a certain point. So carbs will usually be the macronutrient that will continuously get cut from your diet if you need to create a bigger calorie deficit. That's why it's very important to use carbs in your diet very wisely and not just randomly waste them whenever you seem fit because then your workouts will suffer as a result. So utilize most of your carbs in your pre-workout meals so you can get the necessary energy to push through a workout and also in your post-workout meal so you can replenish your energy stores that are now depleted as a result of that workout. This will help your body to get back on track much faster. And if you are one of those people who likes to work out on an empty stomach in the morning or just has a very large gap between your pre-workout meal and your workout, you absolutely need to get in at least some carbs before you start working out. The difference will be ginormous. Just grab a banana or a couple of rice cakes and consume it roughly 30 to 60 minutes before a workout. You will be amazed how much better you will feel. You absolutely need to do this even if you don't feel quote unquote bad when you work out because as I said, carbs are the fuel for your body which means that it will lead to much better performance in the gym than if you were completely depleted. The second thing you should keep an eye on is getting in your electrolytes. And by electrolytes I don't mean drinking prime hydration because that is completely worthless and I'm gonna tell you why in a second. So if you wanna go the route of sports drinks, then go with something like Gatorade that actually has an effective formula. But there are also other ways of getting in your electrolytes, which will be much more suitable for everyone. Because if you had to buy a sports drink every time you wanted to do a workout, you would be just speedrunning poverty because these sports drinks can be pretty expensive. One of the things that you can do is to buy powdered hydration drinks that are much more cost effective than buying a brand new bottle every time. But the simplest way is to just add a little bit of salt into a glass of water and that will take care of all of your electrolyte needs. I don't know if you know this, but the main and the most important electrolyte in all of the effective sports drinks is salt. That's why all the effective sports drinks taste salty, but that is not the case for Prime. Prime is loaded with potassium instead, making the drink absolutely terrible for actually hydrating yourself. This is obviously because they want to sell it to kids and you can bet that kids would definitely not like drinking a salty beverage. What goes hand in hand with electrolytes is actually properly hydrating yourself. People underestimate the amount of water they drink so much. It's like with sleep, everyone knows exactly what they should do, but no one cares enough to actually make sure that they do it right. You will always feel terrible when you work out if you are dehydrated, that's just a fact. So I want you to do a little experiment. Go ahead and track your water intake, just for one day, it's nothing complicated. And a lot of you will be very surprised by the results. As a man, you should drink roughly 3.7 liters of water per day. And if you are a woman, it should be around 2.7 liters instead. Do this little experiment as I told you and see if you are hitting these numbers. And I can tell you right now that a lot of you will not even come close. And if that turns out to be the case, try to be more diligent about your water intake. One tip that helped me personally to consume more water is to just keep a water bottle next to you at all times. Then you will not even have to think about it because your body will just automatically grab the bottle for you. 
but if there is no water bottle in your near proximity, you are much less likely to go out of your way to get some water, unless you are just extremely thirsty. What can also play a huge role in improving your workout and even motivating you to go to the gym in the first place is caffeine. Caffeine will certainly make sure that you are ready to go and that everything will feel amazing. The power of this effect can vary based on your caffeine tolerance. If you are someone who slams caffeine every day, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because even if you drink a whole can of an energy drink, make a couple cups of coffee or take a strong pre-workout and you are still not really feeling it, then you can be certain that your caffeine tolerance is extremely high. That's why I would highly recommend using caffeine strategically, only in cases like these where you just feel like you don't even want to step a foot in the gym. The smaller tolerance to caffeine you will have, the better you will feel in situations like these when you don't even want to get off your couch. So stop using caffeine in situations where it's simply not necessary. You don't need to slam down an energy drink when you are gaming. Like what do you want to do? Game faster? Limit your caffeine usage only to difficult things. Don't consume caffeine just for fun. You should look at caffeine as a tool that will give you tremendous help in difficult times. But if you overuse it, it will turn against you. And all of the benefits will be gone. And you will be left with just all of the negative side effects like insomnia and anxiety. And when you are feeling anxious or just physically or mentally weak, you need a pick-me-up to motivate you to get up and go to the gym. It really doesn't matter how you choose to motivate yourself. You can watch Dragon Ball motivational compilations, some kind of motivational speech or quite literally anything else that will hype you up and put your head in a better space. This effect can also be achieved by listening to your favorite songs that will always make you feel energetic. This will not only get your booty off the couch, but it can also increase your performance on your hardest sets. But to get the most out of this trick, you should save your favorite songs only for your hardest sets. If you listen to that favorite song of yours 20 times a day, it will simply not be as effective as in the hardest moments when you will need every little boost that you can get. It might seem like a gimmick, but trust me, it really works. One of those songs that will just make you go crazy is this one. I guarantee you that you will hit a new PR when using this. I personally hit so many PRs to this song that when I hear just a couple seconds of it, I automatically get chills all over my body. Because it is mentally connected to so many incredible moments. Find a song that just gets you going, use it only for the hardest sets and then you can collect all the extra gains. Not every day will be perfect because it simply can't. But if you use all of these tricks I showed you today, you will never have a truly terrible workout ever again. If you are looking for an easy to follow training or nutrition plan, then go to bodybuildingsimplified.com and get started today. So what are you waiting for? It's just that simple. And as always, a big thanks to all the supporters on my Patreon. Did you like this video? Then you will for sure like this one too.